What is going on guys? Welcome back to the Volpro Scooters. Today you will be joining me for another episode of What's New in Scootering. In today's episode, we're gonna be taking a look at some new colorways from Proto, a ton of new grip tape from Envy, and finally, some new wheels from the boys over at Lucky. A fair warning, we will be testing out a new set and we will also be testing out a new lens in this video. If you guys like it, let us know. If you don't, let us know. So the first thing we're gonna be taking a look at today is some new colorways in existing products from Proto. We're gonna put them all right here so you guys can see everything. Okay, essentially we have the Proto Integratron headset and the Proto Sentinel SCS. Sentinel SCS has been out for a little while, Integratron headset has been out for a little while too. However, in the beginning, these products primarily only came in black, silver, and gold. Those are essentially Proto's base colors, but they slowly and surely love to push their products into some crazy color options later down the road. But now not only do we have the Integratron headset in black, silver, and gold, we also have it in electric blue. Oh, let's see, this is where it's gonna get good. So you guys can see. So this is the Integratron headset in electric blue. This is the Integratron headset in orange. And finally, the last color that you guys can pick up this headset in now is pink. Same headset, same bearings, nothing has changed. Oh, there's one more color that this headset is available in. I forgot, I left it in the packaging because I wanted to show you guys how cool the packaging for this headset is. So you guys can see it's just a proto box as Integratron here. And you guys can see the headset here on the top as well because it's clear, but look at this. Hey, I don't know about you guys, but that was really satisfying. Inside, you have a sticker, which you can only get this sticker with your Proto headset, which is pretty cool. So if you see this sticker, you know that they had an Integratron headset. And you have your headset. The final color is purple. So moving on from the Proto Integratron headset, the next product that comes in a ton of new colors to actually match the headsets are the Sentinel SCSs. So here's the Sentinel SCS in purple. Same clamp as before, just now available in purple. Next up is orange. And finally is pink. But essentially you can now color coordinate your scooter and Proto is making it as easy as possible. So shout out to you guys. Alrighty, well that's gonna be it for the Proto products in today's video. Don't forget, if you guys are interested in any of the products that you see in this video, all the links for them will be down below. So if you wanna check it out, that's where they are. Moving on, we have a ton, and I mean a ton of new grip tape from Envy. There's a lot of grip tape, and I want you guys to see every single sheet, but we are going to try to rapidly fire our way through these grip tapes, so let's get it. I don't know the names of any of these, any of these, any of these. All right, first one up, Colt Grip Tape in blue, Colt Grip Tape in red, Colt Grip Tape in green, and finally Colt Grip Tape in rainbow. Next, Neuron in red, Neuron in blue, and finally Neuron in green. This is the Charge Grip Tape. Next up is the Soul Grip Tape. There is a Heist Grip Tape, but we don't have it right now. So here's a photo of it. Yeah. Moving on to the galaxies. This one here is Mystic Galaxy. Next up, Crab Galaxy. This one's Star Galaxy. This is Lagoon Galaxy. And last but not least is Veal Galaxy. And just a heads up, all the Envy Grip Tape is now six by 23. So if you guys are worried about it fitting your deck, there you go. Alrighty, so moving on, we have another colorway from Affinity. If you guys don't know who Affinity is, they're pretty much the kings of the T-Bar game, if not the bar game as a whole. Hanwell did here in the USA. John Radke and Chris Caswain just kill it. And since they powder coat everything in house, they just have access to some of the coolest colors out there. So they pump out a lot of cool options, especially limited edition ones. And I'm not sure if this one is here to stay, but this right here is the baby blue colorway of the Affinity V bar. The baby blue colorway, it is also available in the XL T bar. So if you guys want to pick up this color, you can pick it up in the T bar option or the V bar option, and you'll be supporting a rider owned USA scooter company. So I highly recommend you guys check these out. Alrighty, well, moving on, we have some new grip tape from Kai Saunders, aka Sondesi. If you guys do not know who Kai Saunders is, check out Sondesi on Instagram, rides for Native, arguably one of the best scooter riders. I mean, some of the most technical tricks out there and some of the best balance out there. However, Kai did just release some new grip tape, so let's check it out. The first design is the Ascension logo. Moving on, this is the Pyramid logo. And my personal favorite, this is the Scoofin logo. It's my personal favorite because it's sick. Stop taking everything so serious. 
it's not that deep guys. Kai Saunders, insane scooter rider, so make sure you guys show him some love, you guys can pick up his grip tape. We also have some Sandezi posters and whatnot, but keep an eye out because quantities are limited and you essentially can't buy it unless you wanna order it from Australia. I believe we're the only shop in the US that has it, so support Kai and pick up a sheet of his grip tape because the man deserves it. Well, just like that, we have made our way through a majority of the product in today's video. We're gonna be ending this video on a bang and we're gonna be taking a look at all of the new wheels from Lucky Scooters. So the first new wheel from Lucky is going to be the Cloverfield Hollow Core. Teal urethane, the core of the wheel is actually a really nice gold. It's similar to like the V1 John Marco wheel. However, the Lucky logos are like a navy blue and I actually really like the way the color contrasts against the gold. So shout out to Lucky, really cool color combination. If you guys wanna learn more about these wheels, you can click the link down below and check out the specifications for them there. So next up is Recoil. This one's really cool. It features a teal and black tie-dye urethane and it features a bandana-like core with the Lucky Clover logo in there, of course, with the green to a bit of a lighter green fade. Really, really cool wheel as well. I'm actually holding a 120 millimeter version of this wheel. The Clover Field, the Recoil, and the one I will show you guys after this are actually all available in 110 and 120. And the last of the three non-signature wheels is actually the tie-dye. So I'm assuming you guys can tell why this one is called tie-dye. This guy features a teal and blue tie-dye core design, which I'm a big fan of, as well as the black urethane and teal pad printing. I think it's just a nice balance of color and it's relatively sleek for how loud this wheel is. I don't know how to explain it, but it is subtle and not subtle at the same time. And I like that. I think it's time we move in to the SIG wheels. First up in the signature wheels is gonna be my personal favorite, which is Blake O'Gorman, AKA OG Blake's signature Lucky Wheel. OG Blake, now vault team rider, has been riding for Lucky Scooters for the last couple years in an absolute shredder. Blake used to come into the old shop. He was just that local little kid that was showing up and riding with everybody. And now Blake is arguably one of the best in the country without a doubt. I think we actually have a video of Blake trying to like ride the rail at the old shop when he was like nine. And then I'll play a clip of Blake after so you guys can just see how much improvement has come. Either way, Blake has been absolutely killing it and we are hyped to see him being rewarded with his own signature wheel. The core design of Blake's wheel is really, really cool. Obviously growing up by the ocean, you can see there's some ocean vibes really tying into just his roots and where he grew up and where his scooter career kind of started. Other than that, you have the teal urethane on the blue core. So you guys can see the Lucky logo there. You guys can see uh, Blake's signature actually here at the top of the wheel, which is really, really cool. But either way, shout out to Blake, shout out to Lucky. Congratulations again and uh, we're hyped to have him, man. Moving on, next up is John Marco's new wheel. So this right here is John Marco Gato's new signature wheel. This time around, he uh, decided to stick with the gray and white urethane. On the core of the wheel is where things get interesting. It actually features a toaster-like core, if you guys remember the Lucky Toaster wheels. However, since they are a three-spoke design, there's actually a crown etched into the wheel, indicating how good the guy is, because he has won so many comps, he's been the world champion, and he wants every single person to know that when they look at his wheel. So Either way, shout out to John Marco and uh this wheel is sick, man. All right, second to last wheel is gonna be the Jaden Sharman signature wheel. I would say Jaden's wheel resembles a John Marco wheel from last year. Just the black wheel with the red pad printing is pretty similar, but either way, who doesn't like black on black wheels? And Jaden is an absolute shredder. You guys can see here on the wheel has his name. So Jaden Sharman there, toaster, everything, all the pad printing, the size. And instead of the crown, you can see that there's just these white lines etched on the wheel. Last but not least, we have Cody Flom's fourth signature wheel. This guy, I know you guys are excited for Cody Flom, of course, another insane scooter rider, arguably one of the best in the world, Long Beach local, and of course, vault team rider. So we couldn't be any more hyped for our boy. But Cody Flom's new wheel comes in a blue and white tie dye urethane, so it's subtle, but it's really nice. On the core of the wheel, things are pretty subtle compared to his other wheels. I'm a big fan of this one. You just have a nice design here in the center with his name, and of course, a Bible verse, just like all of his products have. Cody, John, and Jaden all have more signature products coming out to 
obviously contrast and match these wheels perfectly. I believe you should have a deck coming from at least all of them, so make sure to stay tuned. We will be covering it as soon as they do come in and uh, showcasing just how well the wheels do match with the deck. Cody stuff obviously looks incredible. I have a Cody Flom complete sitting right here to my right, and let me tell you, these wheels on that complete, look insane. That is gonna be it for this episode of What's New in Scootering. Like I said, it was gonna be a bit of a lost episode and a shorter episode because not only are we testing some new equipment, but we also just don't have a lot to cover. But like I mentioned, there's a ton of new scooter products on the horizon. A lot of cool stuff is gonna be coming out. And of course, if you guys want us to cover it and talk about it, we will do it. So if you guys could make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, subscribe if you haven't already, drop a comment recommending any videos you guys wanna see, and make sure to shop the Volpro scooters for all your scooter needs. Until the next video, go ride your scooter and we'll see you then.